Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician's channel and today we're going to be going back into some more Amazon deals for this week and uh, please let me know your guys thoughts down below. This may be tools that are on sale or tools that I believe to be great tools uh, no matter the price whether they're on sale or not or they may be tools that I have questions that you guys may be able to answer uh, uh, a tool that I might consider. Uh, so please feel free to drop your comments down below on any of these tools. Also, all of these tools will be linked down in the description underneath the tools continued link. And uh, so first up, we are looking at a gear wrench product. So this is the gear wrench three piece ratchet set. This is the 120 XP. I have these ratchets and I love the gear wrench 120 XPs. I have this set, the flex head set, and they've been great. They're a dual pawl 60 tooth uh, gear with dual pawls creating 120 positions so you get a 3 degree arc swing. You still get good strength but low arc swing. So it's a really good designed ratchet. It's comfortable. It, they've been strong and reliable so that's why I enjoy them. So these gear wrench ones have this specific one on Amazon has 5 stars at 287 ratings and they run around the $105 range. So if you're a DIYer and you're not going to really worry about warranty, the same company that makes gear wrench tools, they also make the SATA tools. So SATA also has the three piece set, um, the 120 XP, or it's just, you know, labeled 120 on here, which it still states it's 120 positions with the three degree arc swing, double stacked pawls, engage a 60 tooth gear. So it's the exact same ratchet set. SATA, not all of their products are the same. SATA has some different products and not as many products as gear wrench. But if you're considering a gear wrench product and let's say you're a weekend warrior or a DIYer, this is an excellent way to go because it's nearly half the price, $62. So $40 cheaper than the gear wrench set. Don't get me wrong. Love the gear wrench ones. But if you're not worried too much about warranty, because who knows, the warranty process might not be bad on these, but I've never personally purchased or had to warranty a, a SATA product, but I do know they're the same as the gear wrench. And keep in mind, that doesn't go for everything, but they do have a lot of the same tools. So... If you're looking to save a little bit of money, but you still want a good quality tool, this is a good option. Let me know your guys' thoughts if you've purchased any of the SATA tools and your experience with them. Next up is an OEM Tools coil spring compressor. So I actually just recently made a video on it. it I don't think it's out yet, but it'll be coming soon. So we're going to be removing the front coil springs on the third gen Camaro. And we're going to be doing coilovers, caster camber plates, lower A-arms, all of that jazz. So we need to get the coil spring out. And they have many different styles of coil spring compressors. This one is probably the safest and best made one for my scenario. This isn't going to work for everyone's scenario. If you have a strut assembly or something like that where you can't actually get the tool inside of the spring, it's not going to work for you. If you can access the tool in to the spring or have access into the inside of the spring, this is a safer way to go about compressing a spring. Um, so this is the route that I went. But this one has five stars at 12 ratings. It's $50. ABN Tools has the exact same one for $35. So you can save $15 and get the same product. It's the same product, just a different company. Um, and then there are other companies that have it as well, but OEM tools and ABN are going to be the most common ones that you're going to see on here and ABN being the better priced one uh, for the same product. Now, Snap-on also has a USA made one. If you want to go that route, that one's $300. So I don't need something like that. This is going to be a tool that's used at home. So I wanted something affordable, but still good quality. So this is the route that I went. This one has four and a half stars at 255 ratings for 30 six dollars so i think it's a good deal and uh we're gonna get that torn apart so stay tuned for that video so let me know your guys thoughts on this or what spring compressor you own next up is a pre tools quarter inch drive master impact socket set they also have it just uh for sae and just for metric as well um for roughly 50 to 60 dollars but you can get the master set which includes both metric and sae shallow and deep sockets for $88 down from $100 and it does have a nice lineup especially for the metric it goes from 4 to 15 so it does include that 15 millimeter and then it has the four and a half and five and a half 
Now, me personally, I've used Capri sock impact sockets and really enjoy them. They're good quality. They ho hold up well. Um, but me personally, I don't really use quarter inch impact stuff. Even if I am using quarter inch, I'm not afraid to use a chrome quarter inch socket just because normally when I'm working with quarter inch, it's not being used at high torque. So I'm not really worried about that. But if you're somebody that uses quarter inch stuff a lot, then this might be a good route for you to go. It's very affordable, good quality sockets, and a good range of sockets here with this set. So I figured this was worth a mention. This one is five stars. It does only have nine ratings, but just from my experience with Capri Tools impact sockets, I do believe them to be very reliable and I think would be a good set for any of those in need of a quarter inch impact socket set. Okay, last up is going to be the SunX 3H Drive Master Hex Bit Impact Socket Set. Now this is actually going to include both Torx and Hex, primarily uh, Hex, but it does include some, some uh, Torx. So up top you're going to have your E-Torx and then this second row here you're going to have T20 to T55 for Torx and then you're going to move into your Allens, you got your shallow Allen bit sockets here in both metric and SAE. And then you have more along the bottom down here, three quarters, 19. You got some good sizes here. And then you also do have a row of metric and SAE long impact Allen head bit sockets. And when it comes to SunX, I've had very good experiences. And I know a lot of others who have had very good experience with the SunX impact sockets. These are their hex and Torx. Not as much experience with those. But if SunX's hex impact bits are anything like their impact sockets, um, it's going to be a good deal. So this is 135 down from 148. And uh, I believe it to be a good deal. It is hard, even though we have hundreds and thousands of tool brands out there or companies selling tools nowadays, it is or it can be hard to find a good reliable Allen or Torx socket set, whether that be standard chrome ones, with the S2 steel, or if they're impact rated, um, they can be. And it's normally the longer chrome ones with the S2 steel that tend to snap just because we all tend to apply a little bit too much torque to them. But some of them, some brands out there are very um, fragile, I would say. But with the length of these, I still believe them to have good strength and uh, shouldn't twist and break as easily. So this is the SunX set 3569, and that is the list for this week. Let me know your guys' thoughts on these few items, and stay tuned for next week's Amazon list. Uh, if you guys have any brands that you would like me to look up for discounts or anything like that, feel free. Drop it down in the comments. If you guys not maybe it's not a brand, maybe a specific type of tool that you want to see in future videos, please feel free to drop it down in the comments. Other than that, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of your guys' thoughts on this list as well as suggestions for the next one. And if you haven't, please consider subscribing. See you guys next time.